Welcome to Morris Eye Group. Allow us to congratulate you in making this life-changing decision to move forward with cataract surgery. In this short video, we're going to cover the simple steps of what you can expect in the coming days to make sure your surgery goes incredibly well with our pre-surgical instructions. Let's start with your cataract surgery overview. Cataract surgery is a very quick procedure, which only takes around 15 to 20 minutes. The surgery itself is painless, with an easy recovery and aftercare process, all done in our state-of-the-art ambulatory surgical center under twilight anesthesia to block any pain or discomfort you could feel and reduce any anxiety you might have during the process, enabling you to feel comfortable and relaxed before, during, and after your cataract surgery with a very low chance for complications. And according to the American Society of Cataract and Refractive Surgery, ASCRS, has an overall success rate of 98%. Now, let's talk about how you can best prepare for your surgery. In order to best prepare you for surgery, it's important that you follow these two simple steps. Number one, complete any necessary pre-op testing as required by your ophthalmologist. And number two, arrange mandatory transportation to and from surgery itself. Now, for safety reasons, it's best to only use a family member, friend, or caregiver and not rely on any ride-sharing services such as Uber or Lyft or taxi services. Your total time at the surgery center should be approximately three to four hours total. It is mandatory that you have a trusted ride home after surgery and also highly recommended that you have a family member, friend, or caregiver stay with you for a few hours after surgery, possibly even overnight for our elderly patients. So please do not book your surgery unless you are certain you can arrange to arrive back to your destination safely. Next, let's jump into preparing for your surgery. It's important to start cleansing your eyelid two days before your scheduled surgery date. You'll want to clean the eye being operated on twice a day, morning and night, using either OcuSoft lid scrubs or Optase lid scrubs, both available over the counter at almost any pharmacy, or if you're not able to access a pharmacy, you can also use baby shampoo with a clean washcloth, all the way up to the morning of your surgery. This is also a very simple and easily done three-step process. Number one, wash your hands to get rid of any bacteria or germs, then remove the cleansing wipe from the sachet and wrap it around your finger. Number two, close your eye and move the wipe gently across the eyelid and lashes from side to side several times. And number three, make sure to throw away the used wipe in the trash. You'll always want to use a new wipe for each cleansing. Pretty simple, right? Next, Starting two days before your surgery, you'll want to make sure you apply your prescribed eye drops, which are purchased directly with us here at Morris Eye Group, and not through your normal pharmacy. Instead of prescribing three separate eye drops, like most other eye doctors, at Morris Eye Group, we use a unique compound formula, which combines all three prescription drops into just one convenient bottle. This makes your post eye drop regimen even easier to use and more affordable. Again, your drops can be purchased directly through our office or they can be shipped directly to your house via our compounding pharmacy. You'll be using them four times per day, two days before your surgery, all the way through the first week after surgery, morning, noon, evening, and right before bed. Then, for your second week, you'll drop down to three times per day, morning, noon, and evening. In week three, two times per day, just morning and evening, and week four, just once per day in the morning. Your eye drops will come with a new, easy to use, soft squeeze white tip bottle that now come with a larger tip for an even easier application. All you want to do is first shake the drops before using your drops. This is important because it is a compounded three-in-one drop that needs to be shaken up well before each use so you're getting the correct amount of each medication. Then, you'll want to tilt the bottle at a slight angle and apply gentle pressure until a drop naturally forms at the tip 
and then place the drop in your eye, but squeeze gently because squeezing too hard may result in extra drops. If you think the drop missed your eye or rolled down your cheek, then just put another drop in your eye just in case. It's better to do one more than not enough. Now, we've arrived to the morning of your surgery. Here's some very important information. Number one, do not take aspirin or blood thinners that morning unless specified by your doctor. Take all of your other regularly prescribed medications with a small sip of water, nothing else. Number two, use your eye drop, just one in the eye being operated on first thing in the morning. Number three, make sure to remove all makeup, jewelry, and contact lenses prior to checking in at the surgery center. Number four, wear a shirt that buttons or zips up on the front, clothing that you won't have to pull over your head. And last but not least, number five, no eating or drinking eight hours prior to surgery. That includes water, coffee, juice, and any food. Try to get to your surgery with an empty stomach. And there you have it. That's everything you need to know for your pre-operation instructions. And remember, there's no question too small. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to ask us. We're here for you. And thank you for being a part of Morris Eye Group. <laughs>